Let's do this live. So I was drawing this. I was drawing this and I was like, man, like you need to you need to make a video of this. Don't just don't just uh you know. Don't just record it, make a video of it, amigo. I mean don't just record it, uh, don't just paint the recording. So so here I am recording as I'm making a painting of this. Those of you who are like, dude, what is this cat doing? I don't know. <laughs> Here we go, okay? So this is... Uh, a little bit more uh, uh, dry brush, okay? This is not so, so fluid. It's, it's still fluid. It's just not so fluid. And the reason for that is because it just, it, 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 it's just different stuff, you know? It's different ways of doing things. There's no, there's no one way. I don't like, I don't like one way or the highway. I tend to be like that. My wife tries to talk to me out of it, but, but uh, it doesn't help me to be one way or the highway. It sort of just helps me to to be open, you know, to be open, and and not think that that there's just one way of doing things. It's important. So we'll be back to the face. We're just blocking right now. This is. Uh, a little bit of blocking. Okay. Someone shared with me that that value is really what's most important in color, and and I I hundred percent agree with that. I've been I've been trying to say that you know I don't know why I I don't I don't know how to. Uh, maybe uh, articulate that, you know? I don't know how to articulate some things that, that pe people just articulate it really well. Some people are very good at, at explaining that away. And I, I, I tend to just kind of stumble on myself when I'm trying to say things like, like, like that, you know? Like I end up breaking the door instead of just twisting the handle and going in. <laughs> I don't know why it's just kind of like my jam. Okay, it's just kind of my jam. And so this morning. See, just very simple, very simple brush work. Very simple brush work. Keeping things simple. Put a little hair on this little dude. something about the brush work too that, that has always occupied more 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 space in my in my mind than than uh, the painting itself or the other aspects of the painting the brush work really just occupies a lot of space in my mind uh, when I'm when I'm creating artwork I tend to pay more attention to to the that aspect of the painting, then 
then uh, is, it, is it realistic or, or, or you know, all that good jazz? Is it conveying what I wanted to convey? It's more about, is the brushwork expressive? You know, is it expressive? Is it, is it really expressing what I'm trying to convey here? And if it's not, I get a little bit disappointed. And that's, that's where I start getting in my own way. You know, that's where I, I kind of start getting in my own way because because I'll, I'll try to get I'll, I'll get a little disappointed. Just some like how some people are like, man, that the painting needs to look like you know, it needs to look like this or like that. I'm not really concerned about the painting itself. I know the painting is going to come out. That's not that's not even a, a question for me. If you just keep working at it, the painting is going to come out. Uh, what what is in question for me is is the brushwork expressive, and that's that's sort of my own little you know the little thing that I do my own little battle you know battle battle of the ages that I do. This is the stuff that I sometimes battle with. It's interesting because if you are an artist who paints for a living, it really means nothing what you think of the painting. <laughs> it means next to nothing what you think of it. I mean, as long as you're 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 doing your work, and, you know. If you're if you're an artist who paints for a living, it it it's, it has nothing to do how you feel about the painting it's got everything to do with whether the the people for number one the people saw it the collector saw it and the collect number two the collector connected and that really you have very little control many times over that whether they saw it or connected it's it's very little control on your part so just uh F, fyi for those of you who are trying to be um full-time artists okay those are my two cents on the on the whole matter just telling you so you're not you're not like oh my god I wish somebody would have told me that nope I did already. That somebody is right here. If you are too concerned about your painting, okay, I will tell you something. You should probably, you should probably not try to do this for a living. You should probably go into something else. I don't know, accounting, some other, some other mumbo jumbo, some other fun stuff. I don't know. Or, or do it do it as a hobby but if, if you're too concerned about how the painting looks and and your brushwork and and all of that all of that good stuff uh, doing this as a living should for a living like like doing this full time is probably not for you okay that will be a demon you will have to fight over and over until you master it and who knows if you even master it you're gonna have to quiet that part of your brain over and over in order to actually make a living doing this. Just saying. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Those of you who are interested in this beautiful little piece, mother and baby. Some people may be asking, why is the baby's head so big? You know why? Because baby's heads are big. That's why. All right. All right, guys, take care. This painting will be in my eBay shop. For those of you who are interested in this type of jam, it's going to be right there. Go get it. Go get it now. Click on that link. Do it now. Get to the chopper. Bye.